Well, it's been a while since Phaedra Parks lit up our TV screens, and now this Georgia Peach is trading in the housewives for boot camp, marriage boot camp, that is. But can these relationships take the heat? Take a look. I mean, you're great to me and all that, but I mean. See the butt? Did you catch the butt? You caught the butt. My man in the front caught the butt. The last love was so hurtful, I don't want to make the same mistake. And Phaedra joins us now. Hey, girl. Hey, darling. How are you? Oh, I'm doing all right, considering how are you doing with all that's going on in the world? Oh, my gosh. Is this not the craziest time in our lives? Yes, it is. And then the whole Black Lives Matter on top yes. of that, right? Yes, 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 yes. Unrest in the country. It's just like... So much unrest. I mean, I did Rayshard Brooks' funeral yesterday. My funeral home did it. So that was very heavy. You know, you've spoken out in the past about systemic racism, particularly in yes. the justice system. Do you feel now, Phaedra, that we're at a moment where we could see significant and lasting change? Because I know a lot of companies are out there trying to say, oh, we care, yes. and, you know, making quick things, you know, putting mm -hmm. something on social media. But do you think that this is a moment where on the other side we're going to see significant change? Um, you know what? What I am hoping is that we are not being appeased by the momentarily, you know, perks of being African Americans, you know, I'm seeing all the ads. And, yeah. I mean, it, there needs to be true change, which means real laws set in place, real people to advocate for people of color. And I've even had conversations about having people who lobby just for African American people, because we are a special interest group. When we start using our power in that way, we're going to see some definite change. Yeah, so true. So true. Well, let's talk a little boot camp. Yes, uh, let's boot camp. Boot camp. So you got to get <laughs> to Athena. Tell us what the relationship was like walking into this show. We have had a long distance relationship. And so he's a, you know, a truly trained actor. So he's never been in the world of reality. And obviously I've been in the world of reality. And so when we were asked to join the cast, of course, I knew people who are, are friends of mine, like Lil Mo. And I called Lil Mo and I said, hey, I really need some advice. Is this something I should do? And Lil Mo was like, Phaedra, this was the best thing that I ever did in my life. Because I am a successful businesswoman, but not always so successful in the love lane. I said, you know what? This might be a good thing for me because I want to make good love decisions. And so Medina is so sweet. He is so adorable. He's so fine. And so I said, what better opportunity to delve into it than to go on to this show and get some counseling because I know I got some issues with relationships and to see if this guy is the right one. Will you let your sons watch this show at all? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm very protective as a mother, so I've never allowed my children to watch most reality shows because I know reality is a reality, and usually it's the worst. And, and this installment is quite uh, crunk. Yeah, right. crunk. That would be an understatement, it's crunk. Well, and there's so, so many other things that mommy does for work that they can see and learn. Yeah, yeah. And go, and go. I'd much rather them go to the funeral home, get, right. go to the law firm. Right, know. right, right. You know, we don't have to watch the boot camp. One last question I have to ask because every time I mention your name, people are always like, please tell me you're talking to her about coming back to the housewives. So I just, because <laughs> the fans want to know. You know what? I'm so flattered by the love. You know, I did The Housewives for eight seasons, and it's so flattering because they saw me as a wife. They saw me deliver two babies live on television. Huh. Um, you know, but right now I'm trying to get my husband together. You know, then I can be a true housewife. So, you know, my focus is definitely on finding love, not finding yeah. love. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, on that note, I want to let everybody know that they can catch Phaedra on Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition on WeTV. Thank you, Phaedra. It's always good to talk to you. Oh, you know I love you, girl.